can I get ready, rinse off, shower, put on a little bit of makeup in like 15 minutes? We'll see. I'm so excited for today. I think we're gonna go chop my hair off. Yeah, oh my God. You know, like I'm like scared because like sometimes I look at my hair, I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's grown so long. Like I don't have a lot of extensions and this is like my pure length. But like this has also grown in a year. Like my hair was up here when I had Archie. So it's like that reminder that like hair grows back. And it's just, it's not that serious. But, like I just kind of feel like I want to like usher in like a new me, you know? So anyways, we'll see. But I have this new outfit. I got it from The O Kind, one of my favorite podcasters brand. This is what I'm, so like, this is what I'm thinking of wearing today. It kind of is like a cute, like slouchy pajama top. I'm honestly, I don't really know if it's like my vibe, but anyways, we'll see. Welcome to the vlog. We're gonna go to Costco. We're gonna make a healthy meal today. We got so much ready to go. I'm excited, I haven't vlogged in a while, so Let's feed off of each other first. Starbucks, you know the vibe. But honestly, if you haven't already, make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe. Or else I'm not gonna cut my hair. If I get 200 likes, I'll cut my hair. Just kidding, I'm already gonna cut my hair. Okay, let's hurry up and get ready. Okay, I'm almost done. Again, like I feel like my bathroom makes my makeup look so different and I hate it, but I know my bathroom lighting, okay? I ended up switching my outfit to my Skims dress. I just feel like I don't get to like wear this dress or like Skims dresses in general like very often, mostly because I just end up exactly what I almost did. I end up picking something else. So I'm like, okay, no does, you're gonna do the Skims dress. So I got up, got my workout done, which is nice. I still have to do quite a bit of work today once I get home from my appointment, which is like the most annoying shit ever is how long hair appointments take, you know? And it feels like you've just like bombed your whole day, even though it's like once every six to eight weeks. A little spritz for the road. This is probably my favorite perfume. It's pretty intense, but it's so good. It's from Le Labo. It's the Nior 29. Oh my gosh. When I met Katie Moe for the first time, she was wearing this. We were modeling for Alani together. And I was like, dude, what do you have on? Like, I, like, I don't want to be weird, but like you smell so good. And she was like, oh, like Le Labo, the Nior 29. I was like, okay, like, thank you. And I literally went on my phone that day and I bought it. And that was back in 21. So it lasts a really long time. Just gonna put on my jewelry. Do you ever like freak out? Like, where's my wedding ring? Like, I haven't seen it in a minute. It's right here, don't worry. But like, ooh, that was scary. <laughs> I'm gonna put on some earrings. I have to wipe off my lips, put on some gloss, and we're ready to go. It is, look at that, nine o'clock on the dot. I'm pretty much on time. I just need to order my Starbucks to pick up because like, let's be honest, <laughs> I need Starbucks. All right, last thing I'm gonna do, putting on, this is in Berry from Dior, my lip oil, a little bit of color. Can you guys tell I'm like kind of nervous? Is anyone else getting that vibe or am I just like in my own head? Which is so dumb because like literally, what's the worst that could happen? Like I would have to wear my hair up the rest of summer because I don't like it, you know? Like that's what I kind of thought of too. I was like, worst case, like I am still taking my Nutrafol, like I still have hair vitamins, you know, whatever that I really think works super well. So I keep taking my Nutrafol. I put my hair up for a few months cause it's gonna be hot anyway. And like, I, f I fake it. I fake that I love my short hair. I don't know. I said it once and I'll say it again. There's two different things that said about a person who changes their hair a lot. Number one, they're unstable, constantly needing change. I would argue I could be somewhere in that, okay? I would also argue that people who change their hair a lot don't give a shit, and that's me, you know? Like, I'm not here on earth for a long time, so I just kinda wanna try what I can when I can, you know? Okay, piece of hair in my eye, got it? Okay, I think I'm good. Oh my god, I feel like I'm like going to my funeral. All right, last little dab of this, I want a little bit more blush on. This tart. Juicy shift. It's like a lip and cheek shift. See how it just like shows up on your cheek. It is such a good product. Like I really didn't know if I would like it or like if it would work really well, but like I love it. It's a really good like little extra ad. Oh, I just love it. Okay, who's ready? Not me. 
right, Starbucks it is. Starbucks it is. Let's come on looking in the mirror. Watch me just change my mind. We'll see. Okay, give me a hug. Are you gonna miss me? Are you gonna miss me? Oh, come here. I need to squeeze you right now because I don't ever want you to grow up. I don't want you to grow up. No. Tell me I'm not gonna grow up. <laughs> awesome. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. I love you, Archie. I love you. Starbucks is secured and we are on our way. Oh my gosh, I feel like. We'll see. Okay, we made it to the yeah. salon. It takes me like. I'm so Okay, so do we have like an extra puke bucket? Like just in case I decide to just vom? <laughs> we don't. <laughs> I'm just, it's like, you know how you, it's always when it's like kind of the perfect length that you decide you want to cut it. Uh -huh. It's like the perfect length for like seven days. And then you're like, mm, I'm tired of it. Yeah. I can't believe it because we, we have fun around here. So here's the result. That's gonna get used to like not feeling hair, but it's fun. Let me know what you guys think because I'm, I'm, I kind of need affirmation. All right, my queens, first stop, we we're at Costco. I have a feeling that it's gonna rain. So we're gonna have to kind of, you know, speed through this shit. We're gonna do a speed round Costco haul. I don't need like a ton of stuff, just enough to make the visit here while I'm over here. It takes me about an hour to get over here to Mishawaka. So when I'm here, it would actually be dumb for me not to go. So let's go to Costco, rocking the new mom cut. Like, do I look like a mommy? Or do I look like mommy? You know what I mean? Mm. Let's be honest, my hair is like probably never gonna look like this again when I do it myself, but. So I'm not gonna get any because we have so many at home, but I did want to show you two different nugget types that I usually buy. So number one are these Purdue nuggets. These are usually on my shopping list as well. Like I said, we have a ton at home. And the other one is the Just Bear. So I'll show you, there's someone doing samples right now, so I don't want to get them in it, but I'll show you which ones I'm talking about. So it's those ones. Those do come in not just nuggets, but they also have the patties, which are also right here. I get these all the time and I just make like chicken sandwiches with them. And then if I get the nuggets, I obviously just do the nuggets. The kids love them as well. And there's quite a bit of volume in them. Totally worth it and the macros are really good. They taste just like Chick-fil-A. Um, the other thing that I like to get here is these bacon and Gouda egg sandwiches. They're kind of like the ones from Starbucks. But for today, I'm just gonna buy Encrustables. We don't have like the world's largest freezer, so I can only get what we can fit. Picked up some chicken thighs for tonight. These are my salmon poke bowls. They're 100% my favorite. Some eggs, Archie's favorite blueberries, strawberries, bananas, cherry tomatoes, whole milk. And then I did get the honest juices as well for the kids. I can't explain the fear that comes over me when they offer me a sample and I don't take it. So I ended up like taking the sample and also buying these Thinsters toasted coconut cookies. They're like kind of high calories, six cookies. I mean, actually not bad, but I was picturing like putting them on like Greek yogurt or something would be really good. I added on these six strips, low fat, a great way to just get some extra protein in, as well as these protein bars I've been really enjoying by True Bar. They're plant-based protein. Not that I really like care, they just taste really good. So quick haul, nothing like super crazy. And it don't have like a lot of time to just sit in here and look, but at least some of my staples. Last stop of the day, a little bit of a Target run which this is the first time I've had like my sunglasses on with my haircut. And it's definitely, it's definitely giving an elevated look. I put some on my store, I'm like, I look like I'm in a different tax market, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a drink first. I don't know if you guys ever do this. Tell me I'm not alone. I always stop by like the snacks and stuff first and I'll literally eat a snack and have a drink during my whole Target run. And I'll just like pay for it at the end. It's like a little pre-treat. Definitely gotta get one of these for the boys. They love the apple juice. Oh look, they have a Cars one. Okay, definitely gonna get Cars. 
And then I'll probably take the Paw Patrol too. What's a little extra caffeine gonna do? Probably nothing. So like I said, I really don't have much to get here either, but the biggest thing was getting a few ingredients for our pasta recipe tonight that obviously I wasn't gonna buy in bulk at Costco. So let's go. Also, let's be honest, <laughs> Ulta's right over there and I'm probably gonna be stopping. I absolutely hate how I like can't leave a store without buying the kids something. Like it's, it's actually a pretty toxic trait to be honest, but I'm looking at the books because I've kind of been like wanting a paper book, you know, like I love my Kindle so much, but there's something about having like a book you're reading. It just kind of, you know, I don't know, is it nostalgic in a way? So I'm gonna try to find a good book. There was one I was looking at, but I can't think of the name. I can only just like see the cover. So we'll see if I don't find anything, you know, whatever. This book was so fucking good. The Local Woman Missing. Highly recommend. Oh, look, there's more over here. Ooh, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Mwah. Things We Hide from the Light. Maybe that's the one I'll get because I read Things We Never Got Over and this was so good by Lucy Score. So maybe I will get The Things We Hide from the Light. I'm gonna get it. New hair, new book. <laughs> Just got home with like 8% battery on my car, so we gotta plug her in. But let's go get Wyatt's true reaction to my hair. I bet it's gonna be like, huh. Ah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what? I mean, obviously it looks good. It's just, you sent me pictures and then you, Come home with the camera. I feel like, I feel like it's ruined because I already saw it, but it looks good. No, like it's different to see it in person, though. It looks good. What? Would you take a lie detector for that? Yeah. <laughs> Archie, look at your mommy. You can't pull on my hair anymore. <laughs> I miss your pumpkin. I miss your pumpkin, man. You're so cute. Show everyone how you walk now. Oh, it's so good at it. He's so good at it. Keep going, watch out for Paw Patrol. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh, oh, we're turning. Hi. Do you like mommy's hair? No? Archie. Reggie likes mommy's hair. Does it go on? Yeah, I think I just went into a different tax bracket with this hair. It, I look like I inherited a Fortune 500 company, or I'm like a CEO of like a sales company, or like maybe like I sell jewelry. I kind of look like an MLM mom. Like, oh, where's my necklace from? Let me tell you. All right, well, I think we got the family approval minus Maddox. Reggie's obsessed, which like I'm not shocked. Maddox, come here. And Wyatt has his inversion table out here. <laughs> you know, if anyone looks at you through this big window, they're probably like, what the actual fuck is going on? What can I say except you're welcome? You're welcome. Oh, nice. Yay. Got some new Petula in for the summer drop, which is gonna be really good. And then I got my ASOS in. These are like my actual outfits that I got for the Eras tour. The one that I'm actually going to, the one that I was meant to go to from the start. So we'll see how they fit. See some pink sequins. I feel like I almost have to change my look now with like my hair changing. So if I just, ooh, that might look really good. I mean, it's still you, you know what I mean? I know, but like with short <laughs> hair, you kind of gotta, you know. Okay, yeah. this might even just be a winner in itself. Like you can't go wrong with pink and you can't go wrong with, what is this like? Remember when all of our purses looked like this in like 2007? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. All right, wrapping up this vlog with Chef Wyatt Piper and sous chef Desiree Piper. You guys might have watched our video before. That was a mess. I will make sure I direct you guys to it because honestly, it's pretty funny to watch, but like, woo, it was a literal mess. So we are going to finish up with a meal that you can easily make from home. It's macro friendly. It's easy to reheat. It's meal prep friendly. It's not gonna taste like shit when you reheat it. And ultimately it's also something that your kids could love as well. So one thing that really helps me is having something that is super easy to make 
quick on time because I don't have time to lose. Time is money, you know what I mean? You're, okay. Yes. What are you doing, Danny? Okay, so this is all that you need for the recipe. What are we making? What are we making today? It's a spicy, doesn't have to be spicy, but we like spicy. <clears throat> it's a spicy chicken tomato pasta. Okay, so Wyatt made this high protein pasta, even said it in his dude, dude group. High protein pasta, baby! That's what he said. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> Three servings, 45 grams of protein. Is this per serving? Literally per serving. Holy shit! Well, I also use chicken breasts and the protein pasta. Okay, so we have protein pasta going on. We're actually using the bonza pasta today. So this is chickpea pasta. So if you're someone who needs lower protein, obviously just use like a normal whole grain pasta. Yeah. So three servings for how we are making it. 45 grams of protein, 35 grams of carbs, 10.5 fat per serving. And do you know on average what is like a bowl? Like the serving is like a, a bowl. Yeah, bowl, it's bowl. like a bowl. It's nice. like you're not, you know, stuff and face. Perfect. You're yeah. You're a good amount. Awesome. So even with that, you could easily add on like a microwavable veggie. You could add on like a fruit. Like, the, you know, you still have some wiggle room, I feel like, with yeah. the amount of carbohydrates can, and stuff to add aside. You can use chicken thighs or chicken breasts. If you want to make it fattier, use chicken, chicken thighs. It doesn't call for cheese, but I like a little Parmesan in my red tomato spicy chicken pasta. Mm -hmm. And so you do that, that adds a little bit of fat. You can play with it. So you can make it as fatty or as carby or as protein-y as you want. I made it more protein. -y. I love that. So let's go ahead and play. Meal is done, vlog is done. Thank you for hanging out with us for the end of Oh, sorry, this. you dropped some cheese. Oh, I dropped some of the amazing cheese. Cheers. It's gonna be so hot. Uh-huh. Oh my that God. That is so good. Ew. It's the cream cheese that just does it. Oh my gosh, look at that. High protein pasta. Man, it's great. It's so good, and it was so quick. I would even argue it's probably like more like 15 minutes. Dude, that's fucking good. So creamy. It's so, I, I mean, how do you get something so creamy for so less fat? Wow. I mean. All right, make sure you guys try this recipe. Let Wyatt and I know if you try it. Let us know if you like it. We love a good little spicy pasta moment. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. I post every single Wednesday and every Sunday, I post on Brunch with Desby, which is my podcast, AKA the number one rated podcast in the world on Apple and iTunes. Just kidding, but sometimes people would believe me if I really spoke it with conviction. They'd be like, holy shit, I'm missing out. Fake they make on Yeah, absolutely. So um, fake it till you fraud it. <laughs> That's where I'm at. I love you guys. Have a great week and we'll see you next week. Cheers.